We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Got another vintage collection action figure review. We've got VC284, Moff Jared. This one uh, has been out for a couple of months now. Um, finally decided to backtrack and, and pick this one up. Um, yeah, just sort of been keeping an eye on it. I know it's been, been out for a little bit, but, um, you know, that awesome new sort of Imperial... Imperial ranked soldier, <laughs> you know what I mean, Imperial officer, that's what I'm thinking about, Imperial officer sort of uh, sculpt has been really good, Admiral Piet was fantastic, I recently reviewed the new director Krennic too, really really nice, so um, he's looking pretty good, there's definitely one I wanted to add to the collection, um, just wasn't really in a rush to grab it, but I uh, finally decided to grab it, again, VC284, Pretty much covered the rest of those figures over my channel at some point in the past. Obviously, Boba Fett and Cad Bane being uh, being the most recent new new releases. Nine Numb and the four figures at the top being re-releases, and Moff Joe Jared, who I have right here, who we're gonna absolutely crack open and take a look at the figure. All right, here is Moff Joe Jared out of the packaging. I like to call him Jerry, you know, Jerry Gerald. <laughs> I don't know, I literally made that up as I was talking. Um, yeah, nice looking figure. You know, some of these Imperial Imperial uh, officers have been really, really nice. So uh, in, this state, in this case, I do hope Hasbro make the most of the moulds and, and get some uh, characters that are long missing. Uh, Jared is one that's been largely absent. I know he's had releases in the past, but it's been a very long time. Uh, he's a character I've never had in my displays, in my collection, so I'm glad to have him. Here is his little sort of standard issue Imperial Blaster Pistol. No holster to put that in. Um, but yeah, probably, I don't generally don't display my Imperial officers with, uh, with their weapons, but it's cool that he came with one, because we, uh, have seen some figures recently that come without weapons. <coughs> Morgan Elspeth. <laughs> that was terrible. I tried to disguise it with a cough, but it was bad. We all knew. Um, but. His hat is removable. We have his. That's a nice head sculpt. I think that looks reasonably. Reasonably good. I'm sort of just looking over at the card, the card back, which I've just tossed on the floor for now. It's not bad at all. I do love having these guys sort of just with their sort of arms behind their backs like that. I did like Joe Jared in uh, Return of the Jedi. He was a... I don't know, I just there's something about him. Sort of see his imperial, his, his rank badge there. Which is sort of one of the only sort of small things that sort of set these imperials apart. This uh, this body is just yearning for a, a Tarkin head to be placed upon it, I think. Yeah, it had that sort of, that Grand Moff Tarkin that came out in the vintage collection like in 2011, I reckon it was. It might have been 2012. Um, it was sort of almost olivey green. Um, whereas this is almost, it's, it's grey, but it's got, it's got a sort of a greenish tinge to it. Let's see if I can grab Tarkin. He's almost in arm's reach. And there we go. You can see he's very, very green. And yeah, the, the choice for soft goods down there was... A little strange, but um, you know, to update, you know, you just do some uh, some of the digital recreating on that head and put this on this new body. Obviously, with the correct sort of rank rank insignia thing there, and you've got yourself a brand new Tarkin. I dare say, 
it makes sense to make that happen. Um, I always I, I liked this figure when it came out, but it, it's just the green it really hasn't held up that much. Whereas they've sort of nailed that that color here with the most recent ones. I mean, you could just you know put a hat on him and make him some just sort of grunt in the background. I don't know. Yeah, I like the I like the removable hats. It's nice, very nice. I just want to compare the legs because I feel like. No, I was thinking maybe the skulls were the same, but no, they're not. They're different. The legs are new. The articulation is going to be pretty standard on this one, I think. Uh, yeah, you got the, the sort of the barbell neck. Got the uh, ball hinge in the shoulder. Ball hinge in the elbow. Ball hinges in the wrists. It's in and out on that hand, up and down on that. Bit of, bit of a torso crunch there. You get a little bit of movement. You don't need this guy to be super action and tori orientated, but um, it's nice nonetheless. You, know, you get the double barbell joint there in the thighs, swivel at the thighs there, a joint at the knees, and ball hinge in the ankles with that sort of rocker pivot there. And now let's do a peg check. Got my trusty stand. And yeah, negative, sir, negative. It didn't go in. No, they're just uh, a little too shallow. It's just, uh, yeah. No, I think, uh, yeah, they've got, they've got to work on that. They've got to work on that. But I guess as long as they're not giving stands out, they probably don't care that much. So. <laughs> There is Moff Jer Jared. Oh, Jerry. Oh, Moff Jerry. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I don't know. I'd like to see all the members of the Death Star briefing table released. Uh, there's that four pack that had uh, what's his name in it, tag I think, but uh, given he wasn't available, that those packs aren't available down here in Australia. We can't get those sort of four pack army builder sets, um, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'd love to see those Imperial officers, Wolf Gularan, Tag, all those other guys. That would be awesome. Hopefully the uh, the action figure. God's grace us with those figures at some point in the near future. That'd be awesome. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time, comments, likes, subscriptions. All your support means the world to me. Um, yeah, we'll see you on another video. Until then, may the force be with you, always.